I'm gonna guess you can hear that rumbling noise that's in the background. I'm in my home studio and outside the window there's somebody mowing the lawn right now. Does that bother you to hear that in your, your production or not? Would it be better to wait 10 minutes until the person's done mowing? Or should I say it doesn't really, really matter? Regardless of whether uh, the sound bothers you or not, there are some tools that you'll want to consider. Whether the sound from the lawnmower is a distraction for you or not, there are some options to consider besides just using the built-in microphone on your smartphone. So let me talk through a few of those. You're probably not going to have a professional microphone like this that you might see in the movies that has a covering over it, a furry or a dead cat as they're called, which helps to block out some of the external noise. But you might be able to do the same thing if you want to with a smaller device like this one. This is a microphone I showed in an earlier video made by Rode. It's around $80 and it's a shotgun mic, a short shotgun microphone. And it also has a cover that will help to block the sound. I'm wearing a what is called a clip-on or a lavalier mic, and it's a wireless one that's attached to my camera, which is about six feet away from me right now. Uh, but you can do the same thing with your uh, smartphone. This is a small version, uh, inexpensive and small version by Rode of the same type of a little clip-on microphone that you could use. Regardless of the type of microphone that you use, it's not a bad idea to be able to monitor your sound. With your smartphone, it's a little difficult to do what I'm doing, and that is to listen live to what's actually being recorded. In most cases with your smartphone, you'll need to stop recording, plug your earbuds or headphones in, and then listen to the sound afterwards. If you don't like the sound quality, then you can make the decision whether you're going to try to reshoot the scene if possible or whether you're just going to go ahead and keep that particular sound. It all goes back to uh, the beginning when I said, listen to the sound before you start. 